We have to learn to make new ideas and inventions. We have to reduce the usage of clean water and energy production. My hope is that my students, they'll be the solution makers, that they will be the problem solvers. We do prepare individuals who should be socially conscious. What's going on here at this campus should be across the state, if not the country. It's a global industry. They're ready to make a difference now. energy capital of the world. We needed to do something both at the higher education level and at the K-12 level. We are focusing on new skills that we're actually getting kids ready to go and take on new roles and to challenge those of us who've been in industry for 20 okay, years. So what would help you make this guy spend more time? You know, working at Energy, we try to do a lot of really different things for our kids. We don't want to be a traditional school. We want to be a non-traditional school. Number one, the updated technology. I get hands on them every day. There's big smart TVs I present them. I have laptops every day. There's iPads. There's new equipment. There's lab sciences. It takes them outside of the four walls of the classroom. They use their hands. They use their brain. They build. They modify. They explain. I'm doing something that I'm going to use in college. I'm going to use it in the real world. It's going to apply to me on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm a kinesthetic learner, so anytime I can actually like put my hands on something and build something, for me, I learn better that way. How cool is it for you to learn about information because you drove the ship, you were able to solve the problem? Project-based learning is actually one of the best things I've learned about so far. Instead of the teacher lecturing for hours on end and just taking notes and then taking tests to see what you learned, we actually get to apply it. It's a paradigm shift for everyone involved, students, teachers, leaders, everyone. Because we're exploring new concepts, new ideas, we're testing out theories. It's discovery-based, it's a wondering, it's creating curiosity. It's a collaboration between the students and the teachers. We have to have teachers who are willing to turn over some of that control and allow these conversations between like students to take man, place. I think so, like, it's able to stretch more, so it's able to gather more force. It's more hands-on. I'm engaged with the students. I've gotten to know them so much better through PBLs and figuring out how they learn and how to help them. We are committed to teaching them how do you work in a group? How do you contribute as an individual? How do you grow your group? Smart. It's <clears throat> really smart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got to grow as a person as well as a student. I realized this is what I want. This is what I'm passionate about. This is what I'd like to do. We focus so much on 21st century skills and building those skills, leadership, project management, collaboration, teamwork. I've learned how to communicate and collaborate better. Speaking with other students is so much easier now and I really feel like I've come out of my shell overall. More than two million sparklers I created in the United States. Being able to open up and talk to people in an open environment and explaining your ideas that's where the innovation occurs. We were finding out if starch and sugar could go through a cell wall. This school really works with students who develop that, that confidence that comes with presenting and by the end of their four years here they'll have done over 150 group projects and presentations. They have a real person in industry that cares enough to take time out of their day to judge their projects and give them real feedback. And it brings industry into education in a way that we just really haven't seen before. As an engineer is looking at new products, you look at this environment and say, what's necessary? Our corporate partnership with IPAA and PISA has been extraordinary. You know, they line us up with corporations by um, offering us the field trips. Our kids are going to do things like Petro Challenge and, and they're learning to drill for oil. This is a project-based learning activity on steroids. We had to drill, we had to reinterpret, and then we had to drill again. Based on my experiences through the Petro Challenge, I know I definitely want to do petroleum engineering. So these were organisms, plants, animals, that lived during this time, die. We bring speakers here all the time to visit with the students. It's about how, how much work it took to get where they are and how much work it is to stay in the business. It does take a team. No one can do it by themselves. But we do such a great job of preparing them for almost any career out there. The skills that our students are learning, those are transferable skills that apply to any industry. The summer of their their junior year, sit down you know, with IPAA and PISA and line up kids' interests 
to a corporate space and weigh in on project teams and get paid for it. There's so much room to grow here. There's so much room for invention. A kid should come to Energy High School if they're innovative and passionate. If they like anything within STEM, like science, technology, engineering, or math. I can be the next person that changes the face of the energy industry.